My life has been football. 17 years in the National Football League. I think people in, in this area remember Jaws as, you know, the Eagles quarterback. But I spent four years with the Los Angeles Rams, two years with the Miami Dolphins, and a year with the Kansas City Chiefs. 17 years of my life was playing professional football. Four years at Youngstown State University and four years at Lackawanna High School outside of Buffalo. 25 years of my life was dedicated to playing the game of football. And all those lessons I learned on the gridiron were so important to me in my entrepreneurial spirit. Because you have to be a risk taker, you have to take chances. And what I learned from playing football was you have to compete, fiercely compete. Every single day you wake up, you compete. There is no Santa Claus. Every single day I got up, hey, for 17 years in the NFL, somebody wanted my job. Somebody wanted Jaws' job. If it was in Los Angeles, Miami, Kansas City, or Philadelphia, every day somebody wanted my job. You fiercely compete to keep that job. Those are the lessons I learned by being an NFL quarterback. In, in my hometown of Lackawanna, New York, a steel town outside of Buffalo, New York. I learned lessons from my family and growing up there. Again, you had to compete. No one in my family had ever gone to college. Now that kind of, sounds kind of crazy. I was drafted at the age of 17 years old to play for the St. Louis Cardinals Major League Baseball team. My dad sat me down and we argued for about a month. I wanted to play baseball. He said, you're going to college. I want to play baseball, he said, you're going to college. This went on and on and on. He won. He won. I went to college, went to Youngstown State University, and that is one time I was really glad I lost. So one thing I learned that I took out of the NFL when I got in the business is keeping score. Compete. I know somebody wanted my job. I know somebody wanted to beat me. I'm a real nasty loser. I'm a real nasty loser. I, I like my job. I like what I do. And I know everyone in this room, who I love being here again, you compete every single day. Every single day you compete to be the very best you can be. And you have to coach and you have to train and you have to teach everyone in your organization to do the same, to find the like people. That's what football teams are about. What I've learned from great coaches, you know, what, what are the things that they believe in when I was a player? What do they believe in? They believe in enthusiasm. Enthusiasm for what you do. A great passion and commitment for your job. You can't play in the National Football League if you don't have a great love for what you do, because it's tough, it's hard, and you better be ready to compete every single day with great enthusiasm and passion and commitment to be successful. I made it 17 years in the NFL. I wasn't the biggest. I wasn't the fastest, wasn't the strongest, nor was I the smartest. But I always felt no one was ever going to outwork me. I will find a way to beat you. I will find a way to get you. And it's a message that I hear from a lot of coaches. You know, be persistent. Hang in there. There may be some people more talented, but that doesn't mean they're better than you. If you outwork them, you give yourself a great chance for success. If you have integrity, nothing else matters. If you don't have integrity, nothing else matters. Think about it. If you have integrity, nothing else matters. If you don't have integrity, nothing else matters. Every person you work with, you work for, that you want to lead, if they understand that, that integrity is important within your organization, I will damn sure guarantee you, you'll be successful. You will be successful.